ladies and gentlemen, introducing the referee for the following bout. From Canada, let's welcome Frank Fiacco. Ladies and gentlemen, judges this bout, judge one, Algeria, judge two, Fiji, judge three, Australia, judge four, England, judge five, Turkmenistan. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the first of boxing and the red Heads up, we're holding, punches up, let's touch clubs. We're in a 75 kilogram middleweight division. This is semi-final action between boxers from India and Northern Ireland. The man wearing red, Boxing out of the South Pole stands is Vikas Krishan, an incredibly talented operator ranked number seven in the world, competing in his first Commonwealth Games here, despite having an abundance of experience on the global scene, a two-time Olympian, and his opponent wearing blue, currently operating as an orthodox boxer, although he is an adept switch hitter, is Stephen Donnelly, ranked number 14 in the world, and he came away with Commonwealth Games bronze four years ago in Glasgow at 69 kilograms welterweight. He's emulated that accomplishment here, but he wants to go deeper into the tournament. The winner will go through to the gold medal bout. Talented boxer is Donnelly. Can box as a south, as an orthodox as he can southpaw. And he's just been switching stances. And Krishan was just a little bit confused, I thought, there, there's a lovely shot from Donnelly. But he, he's decent, this Indian boxer. Southport, tough kid, fairly good guard as he's coming forward, trying to block the shots. But at this stage, he's not throwing enough. So I think Donnelly, again, has been very good throughout this tournament in starting well, choosing the right tactics. And he started well here for the first half of this round anyway. Good right hand to the body from Donnelly. Krishan, who I've been watching since 2010 when he took Youth Olympic Games bronze in that inaugural tournament. The inaugural Youth Olympic Games back in 2010 in Singapore. Prior to that, he won World Youth Gold at 60 kilograms. Two-time Olympian, as we've mentioned. In 2012, he was the man who beat Errol Spence after appearing to get outpointed comprehensively only to get the decision overturned overnight and he was eliminated and Spence was reinstated. He's been talking up a rematch in the pros, but given what Errol Spence has gone on to accomplish, 
Well, that would be appear to be some distance away. But the reason I mentioned I've been watching him for such a long time is that, Richie, we were saying this is as sharp as we've seen him in many a year, Vikas Krishan. He's been in good form during this tournament. He has been in good form. But in this opening round, he's not thrown enough shots. I think it's Donnelly that's done the better work. Krishan, when he's moving in and out, he's a very good boxer indeed. There was an example. Lovely shot that moves back on the outside. His problem in this round has been holding his feet. He's been allowing Donnelly to, to pick the shots. And it's just a slow start from the Indian boxer, which, which confuses me a little bit. He should have started quicker. But when he's in and out, look, he's not bad at all. Good work to the body again from Donnelly, then switching upstairs, ending with a good right hand. Oh, that's a cracking shot. It was countered by Krishan, but a very good round of boxing from Stephen Donnelly. I thought it was a good round for Donnelly. Started off catching his opponent with a couple of good shots, hooked to the body. Sorry, up a good to the body and left up to the head there. He also switched stances. Here he is as a southpaw. Coming forward. Krishan also had some success, but took a bit, took a while to actually warm into the round, which I thought went to this man. So into the second round then. Krishan was a quarter finalist in Rio two years ago. Good right left hand to the body by the man in red. Oh, cracking exchange of shots. My goodness, the lead left hand from Donnelly. But look at the tempo Krishan's come out with here. And he's turned the tide of this contest. Wonderful one-two to the body once again. And was Donnelly hurt by that? He's trying to get back onto the front foot but he was doubled over by some precise punch picking to his torso. Well, Krishan got the tempo wrong in the opening round, but he started this how he should have been boxing in that opening round, a lot faster. Caught Donnelly with a couple of good shots and has just shown us uh, what talent he has. Just working to the body, then he whipped up that right hook to the head. So he's boxed a lot better in this round, Krishan, but he needed to. I think his corner will have told him he's lost that first round and he's boxing very well now. Donnelly has had a terrific tournament so far. Good right hand again from Krishan and once more out of that southpaw stance. Donnelly blocking those shots but they just disrupted his stance a little bit. Back in the fray now but Donnelly had a hard-fought split decision win over young Kieran Jones, the 2017 British champion. Good right hand to the body from Donnelly. See, I don't understand the tactic there from Krishan. Just standing there, keeping his hands up. But, you know, your opponent's throwing punches and there's nothing coming back from you. And you can argue, well, they're hitting the gloves or the elbows, but a couple, you know, some might be getting through. And after that hard-fought contest against Kieran Jones, Stephen Donnelly has controlled things pretty effectively. He dominated Jibrila Kamara, the soldier. Representing Sierra Leone, hard left hand dug in by Krishan. There's the same shot, the bolo once again. And a two-shot combination upstairs, followed by another whipping bolo shot to the solar plexus. So Krishan fighting in spurts here, nudging left uppercut gets through once again. But are these spurts sustained enough to put the round in his favour. What a one-two combination. Rapier-like quickness. Left hand in response from Donnelly, breathing through an open mouth now, but he steps back into the fray and continuing to let his hands go. Terrific portion of the round in terms of action. Donnelly steady across the three minutes. Vikas Krishan producing two eye-catching bursts at either end of the round. Still coming forward, Donnelly, after being on the end of some very sharp, fast punches from Krishan. Terrific round of boxing, that one. Krishan started well, finished well. Donnelly was effective across the piece. Let's listen in. 
around. Okay? Don't go only for power shot because then you you be less active. Okay? Mix, speed, Good I round, know. I thought, uh, from Krishan. Too, especially compared to the first round, he really upped the tempo here and put Donnelly under a lot of pressure. Good work to the body. That left uppercut right up to the head. And there was a cracking right up, sorry, left uppercut on the inside. So a better round for the Indian boxer. So a sporting touch of gloves to begin the third and final round and it's Donnelly who tees off first, targeting the body to good effect of Vikas Krishan. Donnelly has said that experience can win him Commonwealth Games gold as again he goes downstairs beneath the elbows of Krishan, competing in his third Commonwealth Games here, looking to improve upon the bronze medal that he won four years ago. And he's made a brighter start to this third round. Krishan with a single shot success to the body. Donnelly on the front foot, driving the man in red backwards. Good work to the body once again. But Frank Fiaco is going to warn him about ensuring his punches don't go south of that belt line. Krishan just in danger of being outworked again here from his perspective. Donnelly has been busy since the bell to begin this third and final round. Oh, there's a wicked body shot once again from Krishan. Donnelly's taking it well, neither man working away on the inside. Yeah, you just see Donnelly just pause there just to get his breath a little bit. It was a good shot downstairs. And again, he's hurt Donnelly. That's a big shot downstairs. This time he couldn't betray, he couldn't hide his feelings and a body shot has sent him to the canvas. Devastating attack to the body from Vikas Krishan has paid dividends in this third and final round. Krishan has been targeting the body since the second round to great effect and Donnelly's still hurt. Look at how he's tucking up his elbows around his ribs, his hands are down covering his body. That leaves the head wide open. Can Krishan capitalize? Good left hand to the body once again, but it was partially blocked. Now again, Richie, we have to point out, sending your man to the floor in Aiba boxing will not automatically result in a 10-8 round, as it so often does in the pro ranks. But Vikas Krishan enjoying a very good portion of this third round. And if you look at Donnelly, look at that right elbow of his, he's, he keeps it, trying to protect the ribs, his right rib cage. And Krishan having a very good round here. Donnelly battling on, but he's been hurt. And I still don't think he's recovered. He's bravely going forward, the Northern Irish boxer. But Krishan waited for the referee to call the break there. Oh, oh there's a body again. shot once again to the same flank. Donnelly takes it well. Tagged to the chin this time because the elbows are tucked up, protecting his ribs. Fascinating stuff here in the third and final round. Donnelly breathing through an open mouth but continuing to pour forward. Desperate to book his place in that gold medal bout. Has Vikas Krishan been busy enough? Because as we said, putting your man on the floor doesn't necessarily tilt you the round in your favour. There's the 10 second clapper who can produce some quality. It's Donnelly who is on the front foot, gamely coming forward. Krishan not working away. How are the judges going to score this one? Incredible end to the contest, Ronald. Krishan came on strong. Donnelly had a nightmare of a round, to be quite honest. Hurt downstairs to the body, did well to get up, tried to protect that, um, that rib cage, but got caught timing again. But he got through it. Let's have a look here. Left uppercut downstairs, and Donnelly feels it. And then another go one goes in, and he just couldn't hide the pain, and he goes down. So there's the left hand there. He tries to get back and then the left uppercut comes into the body. That was the one that put him down. He did well to get up. He's trying to protect himself. Let's have a look at it from another angle. And it's Krishan. Vikas Krishan of India, the seventh ranked boxer in the world, the highest rated middleweight here, has booked his place in the gold medal bout in the 75 kilogram middleweight division. It was a terrific comeback from Vikas Krishan because Donnelly boxed brilliantly. 
in the opening round, but in the second round, he produced a strong opening and a strong conclusion, and then a sustained assault to the body of Stephen Donnelly, put the man from Northern Ireland on the floor in the third and final round. Donnelly did well to get through it. He played his part in what was a terrific contest, but it's a second consecutive Commonwealth Games bronze for Stephen Donnelly. The middleweight bronze adding to the one that he won at welterweight four years ago in Glasgow. Donnelly gave it everything, didn't he? He was just undone with, with some quality work by Krishan, especially downstairs, hurtful punches. But throughout the contest, Donnelly was always in it. Gave a good account of himself, but that was the shot there that gave him some problems. Then there was a right hook to the head there. And that probably started the ball rolling. Just made a mistake, Donnelly. Fell short there, and there's that big left uppercut. Donnelly caught with the shot, tries to regain his balance, comes back up, and then one comes in here. And that's the shot that put him down.